Hey, what's going on guys? This is your boy C. Will back to you with another video. And as you can see, if you got the free RAM or if you upgrade it, you're definitely going to see today that there's really not that big of a difference here. Um, but if this is your first time here, welcome here. We do everything tech, all things tech, whatever it is, we like to do it. If you're a returning viewer, I appreciate you the most. And so man, let's get things cracking. Got this bundled with this 7950X, beast of a processor. Yep. Um, but when it was given out the free RAM, and I don't know if they're doing that anymore, but when they were, uh, I actually was able to get a 6,000 mega transfers per second kit, uh, which is actually great from a speed standpoint. The cast latency though was CL 36, uh, 36, 36, 96. So I got curious. So I bought another G skill kit. This is the Triton Z Neo. This is the pretty much kind of like the, the sweet spot. Um, and also the kit that was included in the everybody review samples. I was like, okay, lower latency, CL36, CL30. So this is actually CL30, 38, 38, 96, same speed, 6,000 mega transfers. But I want to know what I get actual speed difference and kind of find out the answer is no. <laughs> uh, it's Technically, it's a little bit, um, and let's kind of go over that uh, for a second. So um, I actually went over a few games at 1080p and kind of find out Vision 2, high settings, um, 290 FPS when it came to the actual um, the Trident Z Neo, the Z5. Um, and, but with the free RAM, as you can see here, 285. So we're talking about a 5 FPS difference. Um, now, one thing I did notice, though, um, even with the 7950X, the actual CPU usage at 1080p, it used 45 to 50% of the actual processor and threads and, you know, percentage. So I was like, wow. Um, so I know, you, you know, a lot of times they talk about, oh, you know, games don't use more than two cores. Games don't use more than eight cores is overkill. 16 cores, 32 threads. The game on average was using 45 to 50%. That means that, okay, hey, if you're running a game, you're still running the operating system and, you know, background type stuff. Um, but the game itself was still using, oh, 45 to 50%. So that's eight cores, 16 threads. I don't know. I don't know. Game's a little bit different. That's Division 2. Um, and if we move on, Cyberpunk, I'm not going to go over all the games I did, but Cyberpunk uh, 2077 with the Neo kit 165 with the free kit 164. Washed out Legion with the Neo kit 163 with the free kit 153. So there's a bit of a difference there, but what, 10 frames? So 5 to 10 frames. Um, and, but what I noticed, I mean, that's at 1080p. If you're playing at 1440p or 4K, it's negligible um, at that point because you're more GPU bound than you are CPU bound. And CPU and RAM go together, right? Um, so let's take a look at some of the actual prices when it comes to this. So obviously, like I said, I got this kit free, okay? So, and uh, let me just kind of move myself out the way here. So like I was saying, I got this kit free. Uh, DDR5, 6000 Um, Right now, it's priced at 139 So if you was doing a bill right now, you was trying to say, you know, if you was doing a bill right now and you're asking me, okay, hey, would you rather choose this kit or choose this kit, which is the one that I upgraded to? DDR5, 6000 except it has a lower latency, 179 And actually, um, if you don't have a micro center in your area uh, on uh, Amazon, as you can see here, it's 159. So 159 versus 139. I would actually, if I was buying this and I wasn't able to get this kit free, um, I would actually get the 6,000 mega transfers and the lower latency together. I would spend the extra money for it. It'd be worth it. Um, but if you were getting this kit free for some particular reason and wonder whether or not you should upgrade, don't bother. Use that money towards something else. Get some more storage, maybe a better motherboard, um, better CPU, you know, stuff like that. But if you was getting this actual um, kit for free, don't worry. It's actually pretty good, um, believe it or not. It's not the most pleasing, you know, on the eye, you know, saying it's just a regular kit. Um, it's black. Um, it is low profile. I will say that. So if you was using like an air cooler or something like that, or maybe an ITX case or something like that, um, it'll actually work out pretty well. Um, but if not, I mean, hey, you good, you know, so I would actually say, okay, hey, if you was getting that free RAM and specifically the 6,000 mega transfers, because I think they was also offering this for 5,600. 
if you had the 5600 or the 5200 mega transfers, I would actually look into upgrading uh, to the 6000 because it's a sweet spot when it comes to AM5. Um, it's just speed, you know, everything worked fine for me uh, with the expo settings and everything. So, yeah. So if you ever had that question or if you um, been a person to actually migrate over to AM5 and you, you, you know, so you got caught up in the actual bundles and uh, some of the deals, stuff that they was doing, uh, you don't have to worry about trying to upgrade because you're not going to get any, you know, pretty much better performance when it comes to um, the actual the amount of money that you would be spending in the actual upgrade. So I'm actually going to be using this in another system. Um, or I may give it away, you know, you know, just depends. So, uh, stay tuned, plan on doing some more tests and looking at some other items, um, doing some more bills and got a lot of stuff that's going to be coming to the channel pretty soon. Um, but if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell. So you receive all my notifications and man, I see you in the next video. Peace.